wanted to give a few key takeaways from the microneedling session that I did a week ago yesterday. So immediately following the microneedling, you need to allow for about eight hours where you're not going to want to really run around town with um, some of the gooey stuff that you have on your face. It's not uncomfortable, it's just maybe not something you're gonna be super presentable. So think about that when you're scheduling your appointment. However, after the eight hours, then you can wash your face and go about your day as you normally do, whether it's applying makeup or sunscreen, you're not gonna have any issues. There's really no downtime and that's the amazing part about it. You can do it any time of year. It's great for most skincare types. For a deep dive on that, check out the post that we have on Instagram, the full video. Also, a couple of the exciting things that I love is you can also already tell there's um, an extra little bit of a dewy glow. You look refreshed, rejuvenated. You can also get really close to the eye, which a lot of other procedures such as laser, it becomes difficult to get super close to the eye. So that was one of my favorite parts, as well as being able to target the neck area. The neck is also really difficult because it's so delicate to get in there deep with lasers and not have a lot of downtime. So for some of those trickier areas like um, acne scarring, it will take a couple of treatments for sure to see a um, monumental difference. But with regards to tone and texture, I'm already seeing an improvement and a difference within one treatment. Typically, you're going to need two to three treatments for optimal results. And that is really in line with the skin cell turnover of 28 days. So you'll space out your treatments at least four weeks apart, four to six weeks apart. You can do a set of three in one year, and then you could do a maintenance one once a year or twice a year. So consider microneedling if any of those things sound like something you could benefit from.